Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Book Covers DIY. I wanted to make a short video today to show you how you can create a QR code that leads readers to your author page or to another one of your books or a book in your series or a website. Okay, so here we are on canva.com. This is where we make all of our book covers. Normally we go through here, we pick, you know, book cover or whatever we're making. But today we're gonna come over here on this left menu and we're gonna go down to apps. We're gonna click the little arrow. It's gonna take us over here to this page with all of these apps that work with Canva. The best thing to do is just go to the search bar, which is right here, and we're just going to type in QR code and hit enter. So here we're gonna have quite a few different uh, apps that work with Canva. There's some dynamic codes, but uh, for today I'm gonna to just show you how to use this basic one right here. It just says QR code, add QR codes to your designs. So I'm going to click on that one. Okay, so we're gonna have two options down below. We can use it in, a, in an existing design. Let's say we had already started designing a business card. Uh, if we click this, it's going to have us choose that project that we've already started. I'm just going to create a new design today. So I'm gonna say use a new design. I can choose one of these uh, project sizes like, you know, Instagram, but I just want to focus on the, you know, small QR code that I'm going to place on multiple uh, items. So I'm going to just type in logo because that's usually like a 500 by 500. Here we go, logo, 500 by 500. So I'm just going to click that. It's going to open me a new project. So now we're on our design area. It says a uh, QR code over here and it says add a URL. We'll create a QR code for you to your, add to your design. People can scan the QR code to reach the URL. So now we just need to paste in a URL code. Okay, so you're going to place in here wherever you want people to go. So if it's a website, you would copy and paste your website. If it is your Amazon um, book page, Okay, so let's see, we'll just click on Atomic Habits. Let's say this is like your most recent book. Okay, Atomic Habits, uh, we want the paperback or uh, your Kindle version of your most recent book. So you click on the one you want. Again, this would be your own book. Then you would come up here to the search bar. You're going to highlight it. Then you're going to copy it. Then you're gonna go back to your uh, design, your logo, and you're going to paste it. And then if you wanted to customize the background color, you could go in here and do that. I'm just going to leave it black and white because that is, you know, what people are used to. So I'm going to click on generate code. Okay. And so here is our code that is customized for us. I'm going to stretch it out all the way to the corners because remember this is a 500 by 500. If you realized that this was not right, you could remove that and then update it. Okay, so once you have stretched it out, we're just gonna click off to, off to the side. I'm going to type in what this is for. Atomic Habits QR code. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, click on share and download. I'm gonna leave it as PNG and then I'm gonna click on download. Okay, and it's done. So. Okay, so here is our QR code. Okay, guys, I'm gonna insert some screenshots here. As you can see here, here's a screenshot from my phone. It led me directly to the Atomic Habits page, the Kindle version of the Atomic Habits book. So this QR code works. So now you can see this is how you can create one that goes directly to your book page. Let's go ahead and go through the steps one more time. So let's say you wanna direct your readers to your website. Here we are on the home page. We're going to go to apps and we're going to type in QR code. And again, I'm going to use just this basic one right here. Use in new design. And I'm going to just type in logo. Want your basic logo. It takes us over to the design area. This time I'm going to um, put in my website. So I'm going to copy that, paste it and generate a code. And I'm gonna stretch that out uh, all the way to the corners. I'm gonna type in what it is. Uh, this is QR code. Okay, and then I'm going to click on share, download, PNG download. 
and then it is done. Here is the QR code. Again, I'm just going to take screenshots because I can't figure out how to show you that I'm uh, actually going there on my phone other than screenshots. So, so now that we know how to generate a QR code and link it to a website or Amazon detailed page, I'm going to show you how you can place this inside maybe a page of your book or some marketing material or things like that. Okay, so let's go uh, back to Canva Home. Uh, let's say you wanted to make an Instagram post uh, and then just let people know to check out, you know, your newest book or something like that. Um, so let's click on Instagram post square. Uh, it's going to take us over to our design area. You can come over here to your templates. Uh, you can scroll through here to find one you like, or let's just type in book and see. Here's one right here. Look, my book is now available. Okay, so let's grab that one right there. All right, so let's delete this book and put in our own. I'm just going to click on the trash can. Uh, delete image or frame. I'm going to delete both of those. I'm just going to go to uploads. And let's see, I, we have plenty of book covers saved in our uploads. Let's put this book of happy because it's bright and bold. Okay, so let's pretend this is your newest book release. I'm going to change these background colors. It's pink. Let's just go with something like, okay, and let's change these. Uh, instead of the website, let's delete that. And we're going to click on get it here. But right now it's center aligned. We're going to come up here to the alignment and we want to left, make it left aligned. So now it's over here. Okay, so we have get it here on this side. Guys, I'm really hating this font. You know how I am about fonts, but I'm just gonna leave it for right now. Okay, because the point of this is the QR code. Okay, so here's our graphic. My book is now available. Here's your book, picture of the book cover, get it here. We are going to place our QR code that we created here. So to do that, we're already in uploads. If not, you would just click uploads. Then you would click on upload files. And if you have just downloaded those QR codes, they should be right here. So we have two, we have our Atomic Habits or our Book Covers DIY. Again, we're gonna pretend that Atomic Habits is the Amazon page for our book. I'm going to click on that one and click on open. It's going to, oh, let me scroll up. It's going to download it right here. Okay, so it downloaded it. Now we're going to click on it. And here is that code we made for Atomic Habits. You're just going to shrink it down smaller, as big or as small as you want. I'm gonna place it right here. Okay, and then now I want to place like an arrow or something, so I'm gonna go over to Elements. Uh, I'm gonna type in arrow. And under Graphics right here, I'm gonna click on See All. And now I just want an arrow, maybe just a plain arrow. Nothing fancy or swirly. Now I'm going to place that there and let's make it bright yellow. Okay, so here is our, you know, pretend Instagram post. Uh, we come up here and change this to Instagram book post QR code. So this would be how you place a QR code into a graphic design or postcard, business card, uh, even on your website. So again, this all, all we did is we go went to uploads and we uploaded the QR code that we had previously downloaded. If you wanted them to go to your website instead, you would choose that one, click on open, and you can see it's downloading here. Let's say you sold your book on your website and maybe you wanted them to see your other books, you would place that one instead. You can place this on your business cards, you can place it in your marketing materials, on your social media. You can even place one in the back of your book, like on your author page. So if you have a book signing at a local library, you can put this on postcards or flyers or anything like that. So there are many, many things you can do with these QR codes and I just wanted to show you how you can create your own for free in Canva. So I hope this video has helped you today. If it did, please let me know in the comment section. I love hearing your feedback. And it also lets me know which videos are most helpful to you as a writer. And don't forget to subscribe because I add video tutorials every week and hit the notifications bell so you'll be updated as soon as the next video hits. So thanks again for watching, liking, and subscribing. Until next time, bye-bye.